Well, you probably can tell from this title. This diet is definitely the hardest one to follow. Hello, my Choo Choo family. I'm your fun loving happy vlogger, Tom Choo Choo. Ah, I really need to get a haircut. Alright, so it took me a while for me to come back with my keto weight loss update because I was dealing with my diarrhea problem on keto. This has happened since the last keto vlog and my keto mukbang with my sister Sandy Cheeks. It's definitely a new thing that happened to me while I'm on keto, so I want to share with you my shitty problem before I share with you my dirty content. Or if you decide to jump ahead to my keto weight loss update, go ahead and click this subscription button and uh, so I can move on with my story. Choo choo! Why did I say keto diet is the hardest one to follow? First of all, I'll share with you my keto journey up to this point. Like I said, in the last keto vlog, I started to track my macros every day. I have now managed my macros at a regular amount of fat instead of eating too much fat. Regarding about my keto rash, I'm still sitting through my keto rash around my butt crack area. It has definitely come down since then, but once in a blue moon, my butt would itch again. Not for the right reason. I'm still doing my intermittent fasting and I would fast from 18 hours to 22 hours depending on my hunger of the day. Still keeping at 2 meals a day so I hit all the macros and nutrients. Oh, and I take Dr. Berg's gallbladder formula because I was biodeficient and uh, fish oil, vitamin D, magnesium glycinate because my leg cramps at night. You see, my keto life was kind of rough to begin with. And so now, this diarrhea problem on keto happened and I felt very shitty. Literally. I'm going to share with you what I eat in a day so maybe you can help me to find out what might be the cause of this diarrhea problem. And don't forget to hit that like button. Okay, so let's break it down to why I'm having a day. Every day in the morning, I'll have my coffee and I'll put drops almost like half tablespoon of electrolyte drops from Keto Chow. Hashtag no sponge. Because I need that salty flavor in the coffee, pretty much. JK, I need those minerals to keep going with my day, I guess. And after coffee and around 11 a.m. ish, this is when I will want to go to the toilet and won't share with you the detail. Just check out the title. This happens to me almost every day. Yeah. Around 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., this is when I start to break my fast. I always break my fast with an avocado. I mean, I would just eat it straight up with a splash of nutritional yeast and pepper. And uh, I would start cooking my meal after that. And you might be wondering, don't you have to work? Uh, no. Thanks to this pandemic, the film industry is so wobbly that I do not get any job. But if you want to hire me, please hit that like button. Now my meals are usually chicken thighs, pork belly, steak, salmon, and just eggs. I mean, I've noticed when I break my fast and consuming eggs right away, my keto rash will resurface just a little, so I stop eating right away with eggs. And for veggies, I usually cook broccoli, asparagus, Chinese broccoli, Brussels sprouts, kimchi, and maybe bean sprout. Sometimes I would snack a little, and uh, a package of seaweed, macadamia nuts, and pork rinds would be my go-to snack. And also, I have slowly incorporated some sugar supplement like Diet Coke Zero or soda with sucrose. Um, I mean, maybe that could be one of the reasons. But I don't drink it so often. Most of the time, I will consume soda water with apple cider vinegar and that's it. So, now that you know to what I usually eat in a day, what do you think the cause of my diarrhea problem on keto? Please leave a comment down below. Um, well, I do have my guesses, but 
but I'll definitely try to implement them before I share it with you if I fix the problem or not. But as far as I know, this could mean that my body is still adjusting to this keto diet. And it's been three months already. Come on. It's so hard to follow. Now, let's check out my keto weight loss journey update. Choo choo! So since the last keto vlog, I was 194 pounds, and this week I checked. I'm at 192 pounds! So 1 pound a week, which is pretty steady, and I think that's good, right? Anyway, I have to do a shout out here to my fitness friend, Frank Wall Fitness. His channel is all about fitness, train along sessions, and fitness tips. Another reason why I'm giving this shout out is because I won his giveaway. I mean, this thing is called So Spine. I mean, I don't know, really know how to pronounce this, but it's definitely going to be helpful with my spine, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, I have not used it yet, so we'll see what happens. Thank you, Frank, if you're watching this. So, what's next? I'll definitely get a haircut and keep tracking my macros. I don't know if these two go hand in hand, but most importantly, I am back with Mukbun and we'll be exploring more keto food options. Please stay tuned and don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button so let me be the algorithm on YouTube. My goal is 1k subscribers by the end of this year. Do you think it's possible? Please leave comment down below. Now, see you soon. Peace. So spine. So there's two different kinds. One is called so right. One is called so spine. Uh, I got the so spine. So, 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 okay, forget it. That sounds like my diarrhea problem.